Alright guys, Delzinski here and welcome to another WWE DVD and Blu-ray review. This time we're looking at WWE Live in the UK from May 2014. Now just to let you know, this is released tomorrow on the 11th of August and you can head over to wwedvd.co.uk and put in your pre-order tonight or make your purchase tomorrow when this is released. Now WWE Live in the UK, what's it all about? Well... It is almost recapping as such the Raw and Smackdown shows which went on over here when WWE came overseas. They do this every time and this is taking a look at what went down in May. Now I actually went to the Smackdown event so I remember it and I remember how good it was. I got to see, yes this is a big deal, I got to see Hulk Hogan return to the UK. Yes Hulkamania was running wild at this event as Hulk Hogan returned to the UK to stand in a WWE ring at this event. He was also introduced to the ring as well by a surprise guest, the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Now Hulk Hogan was there to promote the WWE Network, he did a great job, but for us, the fans, it was just electric to see Hulkamania in the UK once again. There really isn't quite an experience like it. Now, on top of that, on the SmackDown show, we have the Raw show as well, which I would say was probably the slightly better of the two shows, because we had a Beat the Clock series to determine the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. This featured the likes of RVD, Alberto Del Rio, Mark Henry, Dolph Ziggler, and many, many more. Who would be the number one contender at the end of this show? Who would set the time that would crowned them the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, which was held by none other than Bad News Barrett. Yes, and as you can imagine, Bad News Barrett was going over like a million dollars because he is UK born and bred. On top of this as well, we had the Divas Champion there, so obviously another fan favourite. Yes, Paige at the time was the Divas Champion. And we had Stephanie McMahon come out and cut an absolutely seething promo at the UK audience. She really did generate some heat with her promo. It was great. I mean, Stephanie is becoming the master heel, the master mind, so to speak, of the WWE. I almost feel sometimes that she's more over than Triple H these days. It is epic to see. On top of this as well, this is coming out the back of WrestleMania and Extreme Rules. So we had John Cena and Bray Wyatt still going on with their feud. We had Evolution versus The Shield still continuing their feud. This is before the split where Seth Rollins obviously aligned himself with Triple H. On top of this as well, some more matches which we had. We had Sheamus versus Cesaro and these two literally knocked lumps out of each other in this match. And I don't know if he is anymore, but Cesaro was a Paul Heyman guy at this point. Strange, but he was. And he's not anymore. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. As well, we had the Usos versus Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. And as I said before, Paige was featured and she faced Alicia Fox. There are many other superstars which are featured. I think Bad News Barrett is the most over. Quite obviously, the fact he's from the UK and he was generating that bad news for the likes of Rob Van Dam and many, many more because he was not going to drop that Intercontinental Championship at any point, regardless of whoever wins the Beat the Clock series. Now, on top of this as well, you get a special feature. You get the WWE Championship match from Hulk Hogan versus the Macho Man Randy Savage. And this is the first ever WWE UK event from the 10th of October in 1989. So that's a bit of a special for you guys to have as well. Now, I'd say that this WWE live event is something for the fan that went to the event at the O2. It's definitely something for you to keep and remember the experience. And it's also for anyone from the UK who wants to just sort of get an understanding of what it's like to be at a WWE event. I always think it's good now that WWE does do uh, their Raw and SmackDown shows over here. It really is better than just going to a plain old WWE live event where you don't get the storylines. Um, although they say it's more personal, I don't always feel that's the case. And I really do think that this was quite a good two shows that you had. They brought over some big names 
names. The only one, obviously, that was missing was Daniel Bryan due to his injuries, which he had sustained um, with his concussions. And uh, yeah, well, not his concussions, his actual neck injury, my correction. Um, but yeah, Daniel Bryan was not there, but still they brought over some big guns. Obviously, John Cena was there and Bray Wyatt were there. And I'd say as well, if you're a fan of John Cena, if you're a fan of Bray Wyatt, you're going to enjoy this DVD and Blu-ray because they do dominate a lot of the show. So guys, if you want to grab hold of this one, head over to wwedvd.co.uk and you can put in your pre-order tonight or you can put your purchase in tomorrow. As I said, this is a li uh, this is going to be released from the 11th of August 2014 and wwedvd.co.uk is your best source for all WWE DVD and Blu-ray content. For me, Obviously, I went to the show, so it was great to relive it. If you went to the show, let me know via the comments box below. Will you be picking up WWE Live in the UK from May 2014? All that's left to be said, as per usual, until the next DVD and Blu-ray review, is please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Delzinski, signing out.